Converge or diverge, sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, n squared times e to the negative n to the third power. As we can see, we do have the n in the exponent, but then the problem is that we have negative n to the third power. If we want to use the ratio test, we will end up with negative n plus 1 in the parentheses to the third power. Maybe we can try that later on, but then we do have the n squared in front. Imagine if we are doing integral. Integral of x squared times e to the negative x to the third power. Can we integrate that? Yes, we can, because the derivative of negative x to the third power is negative 3x squared, and then the x squared will cancel each other out. So in this case, let's attempt with the integral test. And then to use the integral test, we have to first identify the function. So let me write that down. f of x is just x squared times e to the negative x to the third power. And then we have to make sure that this function has three things. We have to make sure that the function, first, is continuous, and then second, it has to be decreasing, and then third, it has to be positive. And the way you can show it is that you can just supply me with a graph. So draw a graph somewhere on the side, graph this, and we just care about the right-hand side, you will get something that looks like this. And you see that if x is 1, which is right here, this portion of the graph is going to be, of course, continuous, and then it's going down, so it's decreasing. At the end, you know this is positive because it's above the x-axis. Anyways, we will focus on the improper integral part. For the integral test, that's what we have to do. We are going to check the corresponding improper integral. So we are going to check the integral of 1 to infinity, x squared, e to the negative x to the third power, dx. The integral test says, if this improper integral converges, then that means this infinite series also converges, but then they may not converge to the same value. If this diverges, that also diverges. Anyways, we will integrate this. To do that, we will use u substitution. u is equal to the inner function, which is a negative x to the third power, du, which is negative 3x squared, dx, and I solid the dx, we get du over negative 3x squared. And we take this integral into the u world, we get integral, this is 1 in the x world, so that means x is equal to 1. Plugging 1 into here, we know u is equal to negative 1 to the third power, so u is negative 1. And then when we plug in this infinity, which is in terms of x, when x is infinity, plug into here, we know u is equal to negative infinity to the third power. That means u is negative infinity. x squared is just x squared e, this part, negative x to the third power, is the u. So I'll just put down right here, dx is du over negative 3x squared. And then as we can see, x squared, x squared, cancel each other out. And we will just work out everything in the u world. If this is the finite value, that means the original improper integral right here converges. So we focus on this. This is going to be, let me take out the 1 over negative 3 first. So we have negative 1 over 3 in the front, and then we have the integral from negative 1 to negative infinity, e to the u, negative infinity right here, and e to the u, du. Some of you guys may notice this right now, that we have a bigger number on the bottom. Negative 1 is technically bigger than negative infinity, right? But it's okay, I'm not going to do anything fancy to change this. I'm just still going to use the FTC2. Namely, we are going to first find the antiderivative of this, and then plug in the upper number right here, subtract after we plug in the lower number, just in that order, that's all. Anyways, let me remain the negative 1 over 3 in the front. And then the antiderivative of e to the u in the u world is just e to the u. So we did the integration. And then we have to plug in values now. It goes from negative 1 to negative infinity. And FTC2 says, I'm just going to plug in negative infinity into u first. And let me keep the negative 1 third all the way in the front first. And we will have e to the negative infinity. And then we subtract. We plug in negative 1 into that, which is e to the negative 1. Okay, and you see I have the number all the way in the front already. 
And now we focus on this. What is this? This part, e to the negative infinity is the same as saying 1 over, because we have the a negative exponent, 1 over e to the positive infinity. And e to the positive infinity is the same as infinity. And then 1 over infinity is 0. So this part is out. This is just 0. And we will have negative 1 third. And in the parentheses, we will have the 0 minus e to the negative 1 is just 1 over e. If you put it down, because you have the negative exponent, put it down as a fraction. At the end, you see that negative 1 third times negative 1 over e, we get positive 1 over 3e. It's a crazy number, but then this number is finite. e is about 2.718. All right, so this number is finite. That means this improper integral converges, right? And by the integral test, we know that the original infinite series that we were trying to do also converges. So here, let me write down the conclusion. And the conclusion is the original infinite series, we have the sigma n goes from 1 to infinity, n squared e to the negative n to a third power. This also converges by the integral test. And as usual,